And technically, this was, although it was submitted to Metronic and Edwards at that time, but they declined to take it because they thought that technically impossible. It is uh, uh, possibly clinically dangerous and irrelevant in most cases. It was just a point which tells about the right side, but you have to be very careful again to see what it is. Then, of course, before the start of the processing, you have done the right joint function, you have to put a pro star which is being deployed to the right joint. And then, the aortic root picture from the contralateral side before the target processing, you have to assess the aortic leaf and just to have the idea of the valve. This is very important, this is done before everything starts. The cage is being positioned from the left joint. The right joint is the main area where from there you put in the sheet. Now, 18 French long sheet is now being in place. 18 French long sheet is going up, as you can see. And the next time you find the different place, the lower flex sheet, which is the sheet through which the van travels, you have to put inside the 18 French long sheet. And then, of course, after putting this, the lower flex sheet is going to the descending of the gram. You always keep doing with the picture from the left side, you keep checking the locations otherwise. Now, the amplage catheter is used for the crossing of the aortic valve. The amplage catheter, which is coming, of course, from the right joint across the aortic valve, because the first step is, of course, the balloon aortic valve plastic. Now the pit is in the aortic root again, just to check again. Balloon aortic valve dilatation is done prior to the deployment of valve, just to make a space. What is being done with the coronary stent? We direct here also, you pre direct the valve, because the stent will not go in any calcific, CVP, or stenotic aortic valve. So you do a balloon aortic valve dilatation. As you can see, the balloon is going up. Close, close. And this is the first step that I told you. Now the lower flex sheet with the Edward XT valve valve being positioned. This is a very important and crucial step. The valve which is crimped outside is being positioned inside the lower flex sheet. It is still in the descending aortic uh, descending aorta. The lower flex sheet with the valve is now traversing up. And this positioning goes up. You have to do it quite slowly because there is a lot of calcium and endocrine pressure. The aorta is not so easily fragile in this pressure, and especially the size of the valve. This traversing of the of the valve in the lower flex sheet takes some time and you have to be, you have to be very, very careful because sometimes you can have complications at this right point in time. So I got valve inside the lower flex sheet going up and now this is a crucial step when you have to position this uh, uh, valve inside the aortic valve. Here comes the precise positioning. The positioning of the valve has to be done very carefully. It should not cross, it should not block the coronary arteries, it should not be deep inside the LV. And the, the basic picture is that you keep checking with the aortic pigtail, pigtail, you keep checking the low position. You have to be guided by two things. One is of course the calcium inside the coronary artery, inside the disc. And secondly, at the same time, you have to be very, very careful that 60%, this is a small detail, 60% of the valve should be inside the left ventricle, 40% should be approximately, not just not 15, 60, 40, 40% inside the inside the aortic annulus. Now this is being just like a stent like procedure. In a, of course, beating the heart is beating at the rate of 30 to do the pacemaker. This is just the deployment of the valve after careful positioning. You know that coronary artery is well below, it's not inside the LV, and now this is being positioned. Immediately after there was a reduction in the gradient, valve was never deployed, and the aortic root angiography was done, although it showed a mild aortic leak, which somehow it recovers within a few days after uh, with the echo, which is confirmed. Now the lower flesh sheet is removed, and you to see the ILS. And from the right groin again, the quick tail is being, being shown that everything is fine with the ILA, the common ILA, as well as external and general ILA arteries. And then, final angle to zoom after the groin, the sheet and closure achieved by the prostate. If you now the sheet is out, you close the pivotal artery puncture, which was in keen French with the prostate technique, and what value is flow in the AO view. And then, of course, the post procedure, the creatine level was little high, only I think 100 to 150 ml dye was used. And the precaution was taken proper hydration, as we all know, the patient was discharged in the fifth year procedure. And the four year post follow up, because we find that in November, now to 2015, the patient is still doing well, the aortic valve is keep doing the echo at our hospital in Apollo. Everything is fine, the drainage has not gone up, and the patient is reasonably doing well. The conclusion the target was performed easily in a relatively high risk patient with conscious sedation without an anesthesia, without use of TEE. This is important. So, the, this was possibly the first Indian. As of now, more than 140,000 valves have been implanted worldwide, with the both core valves as well as Edward valves. And yeah. uh, I would like to discuss about, uh, if we have five minutes, I would like to discuss about uh, the clinical pathway which has happened. Uh, there are two strategies for the another technique. Delivery system was changed, and uh, it was reduced in size and by the name of Retroflex 3, with the nose core and sheet size came down to 22 French at that particular time. The pathway was trial started in 2009. 
and there were all, of course, that was US trial, and there were 2006 to 2009, there were European registry, like source of history at all. Partner US randomized experimental trial was a very important trial, which, which compared directly the permutinous technique with the aortic valve, surgical aortic valve replacement. And they were then a high risk patient, two cohort, high risk and inoperable patients. And they established clearly that TAVI is a valid alternative to AVR, valid alternative to AVR in high risk patients. We're talking about high risk patients. And non operable patients, of course, TAVI is the treatment of choice in inoperable patients. This was a very important landmark trial which led to FDA approval in the US. So, the uh, marked and long lasting quality of improvement. Metronic core valve also has been developed during the same time. Of course, this was a self expanding. The difference between the Edward valve is that balloon expandable versus self expandable core valve. I'm not looking at this. It was published, and of course, it was FDA also approved it in 2014. Additional learning from post market European industries. Both the valves were used in clinical studies, and there were one valve only in the source theory and other study. I'm just skipping those trials. But I would like to tell you that in France, the most of the centers have there are more than 3,000 consecutive patients. They were developed and they were published in the Union General Medicine and European Heart Journal. That means overall, this, step, this established the Edward Valve was quite easily established, especially with the FDA approval. I'm going to show you a small case which was done in Indian patients, which I had to take to Roma because of the non DGCI approval. Even at the present time, this was November 2011, this patient from <coughs> India traveled all the way to Roa to do this. Uh, this is just, just, just to tell you the technical date, that's why I am going to detail about this. A 83 year old Indian girl was treated with a trans catheter aortic valve implantation for severe symptomatic aortic stimulation in Roa, France. <coughs> patient had symptoms of recent onset in China. And of course, the echocardiography showed a severe calcific aortic stimulation, valve area of 0.7 cm square, P gradient of 55, B gradient of 65, ejection fraction well preserved. And I was hypokinesia because of previous bypass surgery. There were a lot of comorbid factors which led to us to decide whether this patient should go for surgical aortic valve replacement versus transcatheter aortic valve implantation. Patient had a five. First of all, patient had a bypass surgery which was done, although the graft were all patent except for the optimal marginal graft. But comorbid factor was C A P had a severe uh, COPD, and secondly, he had associated nephropathy, and therefore the surgeons were quite skeptical in taking up this case, and he was a reasonably VIP patient from day. So it was decided that patient should be treated, discussed with Dr. Krivir on phone and Dr. emails. Uh, pre procedure evaluation was done in India, including MRI of the heart and the whole of aorta. Very important because you have to find out the access and the, the, <coughs> the way you have to go from the groin to this. We have to be very careful about the MRI. The MRI was done, but we saw a CT scan because the cranial level was reasonably high. We wanted to do MRI without, without contrast. So this was then, <coughs> which confirmed that aortic aneurysm of 23 mm and a little bit of a common ileic injection dilate are treated without any major drop CT. CT and you was deferred, as I told you, because of the creatine levels. The patient was successfully treated by Tavi and Roma from the proper deployment of Edward XT valve. At that time, Edward XT was being done. Now, today, Edward Sapien, Edward Sapien 3 has come. So, technical details, the posture technical details, 18 French femoral sheep was used. Nowadays, it's 14 French. At that time, in 2011, I'm talking 18 French. Utilization of NOAA flesh sheet, Edward XT well, conscious sedation without any general anesthesia, with IV medulam, which was reasonably conscious talking all the time. Post star technique was used for femoral artery care. Because of the 14, 18 French sheet, you can't compress, you have to use a per close technique, post star technique for femoral artery closure. And for the time I was there, of course, struck with the artery. It was only 45 to 50 minutes max versus in minimalist environment. What is maximalist environment? Maximalist environment is being used mostly by general anesthesia by the American people, where there is a team of big doctors, uh, number more than 20, with the, with the cardiac surgeon inside, with general anesthesia and the use of simultaneous TEE. While the minimal environment, which is being done by European people, is local anesthesia, conscious sedation, and uh, the technique which is being used. But uh, this is what uh, the European centers is there. That of course the patient, there are two operators, one of course the creating person, the creating device person, the technician. Nearby people are aware of the anesthetist, the echocardiographer and surgeons are aware, but they are not inside the lab. Conscious sedation without any genesisia. And conversion to GA or heart surgery is helping not less than one person. Uh, the, expect, the minimally explored approach is now expanding to USA. Earlier, the American people, most of the centers were having the cardiac surgeon, the general anesthesia, with anesthetist, with the uh, Base maker people, the printing device, the nurses, technicians, everybody. Now they are also changing to the main business. This is a very hospital in the <coughs> USA. Uh, so I think I should put, uh, I have more time to tell about the risk and everything. I'm just skipping and going to the conclusion part. 
the heart team, the risk factor for expansion, the risk has come down, solving the issues. I uh, just quickly skip 12 years, a lot of advancements have taken place. Uh, life threatening complications have almost gone. Second, free trial, which is on the way, less than 1% of the mortality. Most people complications, the vascular complications have already gone. We are going to expand the indications, improvement of devices, strategies to make RV safer, simply almost achieved. Uh, the trials, especially some patients, has gone. Uh, Late form five years. Uh, this the uh, overall longevity is very easily established nine years at least uh, on the way. So the two things which are pending is trials and specific subset of patient low risk patients and device and personal cost reimbursement regulatory issues are on the still pending. Uh, general conclusion I would like to show you the slide. 1985 the first period in the uh, 2002 the first in band 2007 C mark October 2011 FDA approval for non-surgical patients. Then October 2012, FDA approval for high risk patients and guidelines have come up. And for the core well, the FDA approval has happened in March 2014. So this was just a clinical long pathway, 25 years from BAB. A 10 years was a uh, celebration was happened in, uh, in Doha in 2012, uh, where most of the people we also attended that same place. But in 2015, TAVI is recognized as a medical breakthrough, a disruptive technology which can be largely applied. Addressing an important unmet clinical need for the common disease, a benefit demonstrated by vigorous evidence based evaluation, durable impact on the platform of medical practice, TAVI has saved life and improved the quality of life of thousands of patients who otherwise would have been left untreated with a catastrophic outcome. Within 10 years, TAVI become my pick of the predominant therapy for the cancer neurology stenosis. So, with technology, the technological improvement, advancement, the number of centers and procedures should continue to expand in high serious surgical patients. The 13th FDA approval, TAVI is being used by in USA. More than 70 percent within five years, expansion of indication to other subsequent patients such as less severely in younger patient can be expected. Control registries are requested, just invasive procedures to stand like will be there. Ten years, nobody knows that become the major part of the stenosis even with the normal risk patients. And of course, uh, so I just want to skip this slide. The one week post RV patient is taking a smoke, and then of course, 93 seven year old. This is the published from Vancouver, Canada, John Webb. Uh, I just want to invite you lastly to our Hindu European conference which we had in December. Thank you very much for your nice attention and sorry for taking the time. Thank you, Dr.